This is a dead gun special. Holy crap. Jeez. <laughs> <Louise>. <laughs> This is this is really special right I'll here. I'll take that one, like. Yeah, I think I think I, think, uh, I, think I like this one. Hello everyone, it's Jem here and I am currently here in North Carolina and I'm super, super excited to announce that I am now partnering with Elliot Guitars and I am now an Elliot Guitars artist. Wow, what an absolute privilege to be playing an Elliot guitar from this day forward. And I am so excited to be partnering with probably the best like boutique guitars I've ever played in my life. This is actually so, so crazy. And this vlog is a bit of a story and a journey of how my relationship with Elliot Guitars began and to where it is now and how it's going to continue forward. These guitars are absolutely incredible. And for the last five years, I've been hoping to play an Elliot guitar again and to come back to the US and to play one. I wasn't expecting to be an artist, but here we are. So. Check out this video, check out this vlog, it's super fun, and I hope you enjoy. Well, hello everyone, welcome to this amazing video vlog that I am making. It's going to be full of gear, full of fun, full of music, and currently I am here in Holland, Michigan at the Kuzak slash Mojo Hand Effects base. I'm here with Mark, uh, the artist relations guy here at Kuzak Mojo Hand Effects. Surrounded with fun pedals. There's a really amazing pedal that I got to tell you guys about to start off this video with. This pedal right here, the Dream Mender by Mojo Hand Effects. This thing is like the most legit um, deluxe memory man in a box pedal I've, I've ever played. If you haven't played an original uh, deluxe memory man from the 70s, the big box one with the giant, um, the giant power chord, you, you probably won't understand what I'm talking about. But if you have, this thing is like the most legit thing I've ever played in a tiny format. It has that massive lush warmth to it. Um, the repeats on it are super smooth. And it's just great. I integrated it with this little pedal board that I did the demo with. So that's me here at Kuzak. And the next clip you're going to see me, I'm going to North Carolina to see Elliot Guitars and meet up with the guys from 440 Sound and Andy Elliott and whoever comes along, it's gonna be great. Peace out. All right, well, good morning, everyone. It's 4.40 a.m. on March 7th, and I'm here at uh, Grand Rapids Airport, ready to go to Charlotte, North Carolina to hang out with the people at Elliott Guitars and 440 Sound. I've got my boarding pass all ready to go. And I'm so excited to see Andy, Eduardo, and the whole gang and ready to hang out. So this is going to be great. Time for security. Here we go again. Alright, so my first flight is that United one to Chicago O'Hare. A6, 6 a.m. Got to go to gate A6. And this is all I'm taking with me. Just a bag of clothes and some pedals and a bag with a laptop and... So let me tell you a little bit about a story of my first encounter with Elliot Guitars and meeting Andy Elliot and some of the gang. So I got to go to Summer Nam in Nashville, Tennessee in 2019. And it was always my dream to play an Elliot guitar because, uh, one, I'm a huge Switchwood fan and seeing Drew Shirley play the Elliot stuff was really, really awesome. And in 2014, um, hearing all those guitar tones of the Elliot guitars on the Fading West Switchwood album was amazing. Oh, also, I'm a huge fan of people like James Duke and all these other players. Uh, Elevation, obviously. And huge, huge fan of the guitars and tones. Two, I got to hear so much praise about Elliot guitars from my dear friend Spence Pepper. And he told me, like, 
there's one guitar you gotta try in your life, it's an Elliot guitar. So when I heard that Elliot guitars were going to Nashville Summerham, I had to go check out the booths. And meeting Andy and the guys there, and um, it was quite an experience. And uh, when I first strummed the Elliot Tone Master and the other guitars for the very first time, I was floored. I've never experienced that kind of quality, that, that price point in my life. And I've played lots of like five, four thousand dollar guitars in my life, but nothing played like an Elliot or sounded like an Elliot. It's very, very special. So here's a little reaction of my first time playing an Elliot guitar from Summer Nam in 2019. Now, this booth is special. This is what I came to Nam for. Alien Tires. What's up, man? I'm so excited to see them all again and see what happens. All right, so I'm now in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, Charlotte Airport, and I'm pretty hungry. I've now arrived in North Carolina. This is Andy's favorite restaurant in are, the world. That's right. We are here at somewhere in North Carolina called Pel We're Pel in Troutman at Pellegrino. All right. And we are here. I'm here with Andy Elliott himself of Elliott oh. Guitars. Look at that nice t-shirt. Yeah. And we're looking like getting some pizza. He's got a huge... <laughs> he, he, he's from Sydney. <laughs> so what is this? Australia? Yeah. That's uh, right. This is, is a flaming Hot Nacho Doritos with a, on a cheesesteak pizza with a nice cheddar cheese sauce. Are you serious? A nacho Dorito pizza? <laughs> the roasted red pepper. The roasted red pepper, red onion sauces, and the hot get, crispy oil. Let me get two of those and one of those I'm gonna try. Look okay. at this pizza. Oh my goodness gracious. Andy yeah, says this is the bomb, and it looks pretty bomb. <laughs> so right now, oh man, this is great. <laughs> Say something about Elliot Guitars, Spence. Yeah. Elliot yeah, Guitars, the uh, last guitar you're ever going to right need to buy. Right. Right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Spence Pepper right there. Okay. Hello. Hey. Hey, hey, how are you, buddy? Oh, you yes. Catch you too. Oh, man, nice to see you. Long time no see, my dude. How you doing, my man? Oh, I'm good, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to the big show. I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, oh. Ah. Hello, Rocky. Hi, 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 hi. This is the real. This is the real reason why I'm here at Elliot Guitars, everyone. These guys right here. <laughs> well, here I am, everyone. I'm inside Andy's little shop. We got amazing looking stuff around here a lot of things i can't go into deep detail with but there's documentaries into that and look at that mr andy elliott himself with the goods we got the fellas over here we got colby working on this gorgeous neck oh look at that it's uh it's someone <laughs> someone's original band over here oh geez louise that's when i was young and skinny and adam was young and <laughs> that's when we were cool. Christian rock band in concert. That's pretty gangster. Two dollars for something. <laughs> Two dollars. Hey, with soft drinks and hot dogs, man. That's that's right. that's, that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, this this shell pink one looks really cool. Yep. Look at that. Working with some of the best of the best ever everyone right here. This is real handmade handiwork right there. Ain't that right, buddy? Ha, 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 ha.
If you've been um, watching E. Edwards' videos, this is uh, something you might be familiar with. This is a uh, a gold Warhawk. That's number one. Uh huh. That's the first this, this is this is Andy's guitar, actually. No, <laughs> <laughs> now it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really really rad. And this is oh 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 something that uh will never be sold. <laughs> that doesn't exist. And here we go. Is this a uh, is this a pine top or a thumper? Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's, uh, great. Drew's Drew's pine. Oh, Drew's pine shop. Oh, that one. I have played through this one before. This was on my videos. Yep. And hello, Drew. <laughs> Over here. All right, I've never played a warhog. Is it three way? Yeah, three way. Look at that. Best best jacks in the business, everybody. <laughs> So there's two tone knobs here? Uh, no, yeah, uh, single volume, single tone, and this is a, a way to blend the volume of your neck into your bridge. Oh.
no, nah, this is oh, this is dead gun special. Holy crap! Jeez Louise! <laughs> Freaking hell! Jeez Louise! <laughs> I thought my telly was sounding fat. This thing is like a freaking hot rod on steroids. Jeez. But yet it's still a telly. Oh, I know. Good grief. Wow. So now you know what I was explaining about Dan and Peter with the pickups. Yeah. So, what's the recipe? Orange. Dude, yeah. <laughs> that's sick. Oh, I remember watching the videos. Yeah. Oh, cool, Those are your man. signature pedals. Yeah, so orange side is pretty much this guy. Yeah. And this guy is like a JTM 45. Oh, yeah. man. And in the black version, you can get a high gain mod on it. So that one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> this one's mine. Okay. So this is my uh, friend in, in Melbourne, Australia. He goes to church with my brother. Oh, and he, he, he's a luthier himself, but he wanted to try some pedals. He's like, why don't I make you a pedal? Yeah, man. So orange side is pretty much like a light speed. <laughs> Tighter low end Sick. and a bit more push in the mids. So, so what's the deal with the orange and green? 
What does that mean? Okay, so, um, I, I used to make, uh, well, sometimes I make videos where I ride a skateboard while playing guitar. Yeah. And I have a green yeah. skateboard with orange wheels. Ah. Right? Cool. And, um, I'm a huge yeah, fan I, of... I never could watch those. <laughs> I kept waiting for you to really get hurt. Oh. And then... <laughs> I was just kidding. I was so stressed out, I just couldn't do it. And then... <laughs> And then I'm, I'm a huge fan of 80s culture, right? So yeah, that's right. why they have the um, the neon writing. Awesome. And um, you have to do one where you got a green screen behind you and you're standing still and <laughs> all the stuff's the moving. Yeah. <laughs> you ought to do that. That would be hilarious. Cool, that would man. be great. You would say, right. I am getting a little older uh -huh. now. I, I know, right? I'm like, well, lockdown's over now. Yeah. Are you lit? And, and, then, and then my two channels, number one and deluxe, that's my favorite Chick fil A order. The number one deluxe. Uh, <laughs> So Colby, tell me a little bit about yourself, what you're doing here at Elliot Guitars. Uh, I'm just a, <laughs> I'm just a new guy. I've been here about two years. Just happened to be ten minutes from here, which is bizarre. Mm. And you like you like guitars? Mm-hmm. You I like you like Andy? I love Andy. <laughs> I love Adam. There we love go. Everybody. We love, love Adam. I love you, Colby. <laughs> so tell me, Colby, what are you working on here on this neck? This is a new build. It's a Warhawk. Mm -hmm. The new 22 fret, and I'm gluing in a nut blank. Right. So, uh, Andy, what material is your nuts usually made out of? Uh, we use a lot of the Graph Tech Tuscan type nuts. Uh, nice. If it's got a trim low on it, we use a lot of bone too. Uh, the Tuscan uh, works really great with the trim low. It's a little slicker. Bone can be really good too, but no two pieces of bone are alike. It's really inconsistent, and usually with the trim low, the Tuscan is just a little more consistent, and, and that's why we use it. It's great. Nice. Already be bolted onto the body. And this is a uh, a roasted maple neck. Mm-hmm. And uh, is that a rosewood fingerboard? Yeah. Yep. Right. And stainless steel frets? Yes. Look at that these dots I like it very much and does this get plucked on when the guitar is fully set up yeah we yeah put the guitar together we use the plaque machine to plane the fingerboard right cut the fret but you probably can explain what all we do on it so Colby what's happening now you bolting the neck on bolting the neck on Make sure it's good how are you Do what? Now we'll string it up. Wow. Yes, you did. I have to do it again. Just Set it up rough. Like said, and we'll put it in a plank machine to get the nut line. cut and the frets dressed. Out, right. After that, side, we'll just polish. Done, just old fingerboard. Mm. Put, put the electronics in, and it's done. <laughs> So do you put the the plec go, the strings go on with the plec machine? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So wow. that it can measure. It's got to be under tension when it measures. Right. It measures the fret height, fret neck look. So what are you doing now? You're putting it into the plec machine? Yeah, we're going to put it in the machine. All right. Set it here in the cradle. Uh huh. Grab this tool, make sure it's level in the door. Turn this wheel to the top back. I've got it at the airway. So, since we're going to be cutting the nut, we'll have to use these uh, steel straps. And do these hold the guitar in place? Hold the guitar in place. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm gonna write the software. Mm -hmm. Now we've had this neck in here before on mm. a, on a uh, what we call STS jig. Yep. And it mimics string tension. Oh, okay. So a set of tens is equal to 47.1 kilograms. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know what that is in pounds, but... That's, that's my measurement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the non-American measurement. <laughs> that's how we measure in here. This is a... Plec is a German company. That's right. And we do everything in millimeters. 
Do you guys plant it by hand or plant it by machine? The machine plants it. Okay, right. It plants it with this little bit right here. Okay. It makes yeah, right. about 400 passes. It takes about 30 minutes. Wow. 30 minutes to plane. That's amazing. But if you want a good shot, just try to... Yeah, I can't remember what I... Oh, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> this will be hard since the. Oh, it's oh, there it is. And you can see right here, showing you, it's gonna make 27 passes until it fully cuts the nut. Wow. And then it'll do it one more time. This is this is the uh, first cut of the second surface cut it's going to do and after it cuts the surface down it'll cut the string slots amazing so it's cut the nut in the machine yep you can see those burrs over there pretty red yeah bones bones not as messy as this it usually cuts and just leaves nothing right so once it comes out of the plec machine colby what happens so it cuts the nut it cuts the nut one time yep. and that's when we can string it up and get it ready for fret dressing, which has already been done. You can kind of see the plate machine fret dresses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, it's got a cutter head. Yep. That rolls over the frets mm -hmm. and cuts them. And at, and while it's unstrung, after it cuts the frets, it'll cut the nut one more time down to the right nut action. Okay. Wow. And we have it set the right pitch. The right string to the edge of the neck. We'll do that about yeah, a hybrid space. We'll do 2.8 millimeters on the low E string from the edge, 3.1 millimeters from the edge on the high E string. Right. And then it just calculates how far it needs to space each string apart, so that's all equal. That's amazing. And there we are. This this guitar is ready to be fitted with pickups. And yep, wires. ready for the ready for the pit guard, all of the controls, the pots, switches. Wow. And the pit guards are all hand cut. Uh -huh. right. We've got a uh, we've got our uh, lights over here. This is the tortoise. Right. The tortoise blank. We'll go over here on the. Ah. Uses a vacuum to hold it down. So here's a final cut tone master pick guard blank. Mm -hmm. That's pretty rad. <laughs> and it's copper back. shielded too. Right. Right on. So I'm getting photoshot by the one and only Blue Amber herself. Let me let me make sure that I. Okay, so what you do is I want you to hold that like you're holding, like mm -hmm. you're, like you're loving on her. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Okay, so I want you to look out the window for me. Great. We got it. Got it. We got it. Cut. 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 That's a wrap. Hey everyone, this is Cut. Blue Amber. Miss Blue Amber Nicole Smith. Hello. You may have seen her photos on a lot of concerts, a lot of Elevation Worship stuff. This is her. This is the amazing uh, weapon behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, good morning, everyone. Yeah. Good morning. It is Friday. A little cloudy today. A little cloudy today. Here's Andy having his morning coffee, and I'm joined with Jabez and Rocky. We're driving up. Gonna get some breakfast. Who's a good boy? Yeah! Breakfast at the Yellow Deli. <laughs> Look at my waffle. You Look take at your like waffle. artist. Mm -hmm. ah, you get a close like up on this. Oh, tell me what's inside that. Pastrami or something? Pastrami and a big They're old so slab of egg. Oh, yeah. We have slab. Alright, so back in the Elliot Guitar Shop, and I am joined <laughs> back with my dear friend, Eduardo Andrade, the Brazilian stallion. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> the man behind 440 Sound. <laughs> And the reason why I'm at the shop for this like last few days, doing some amazing stuff. You got this red toe master. This is wow. where... So these guys are figuring out what they're gonna do for this documentary thing. <laughs> also, I don't think I probably introduced it to the team for LA guitars. Everyone, this is Adam Childress. Everyone, say hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Yep, Adam. Oh, what is? Yeah. What is your, what do you do at Elliot Guitars? I do everything that Andy and Colby don't want to do. There we go, which includes electronics, I'm guessing? Yes, pickups, CNC work, wiring pickups, you know, Andy Internet, guitars. IP address. Yeah, yeah. DHCP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And being an overall <laughs> fun guy. Ah. And he's left-handed. Check out this left-handed uh, Royal Haven he made. Oh. Jeez, look at that. Look at that. Yep, look at that. Left-handed army for the win. So it's the best. Elliot doesn't just make right-handed guitars. Right? Left is right. They left. I, I'm naturally left-handed, by the way. Oh, you traitor! <laughs> uh, no, I write with my left. I do everything That's else awesome. with my left, but guitar. It's okay. I play right-handed. Still love you. Oh no, thank you for loving me. I'm just interested to see what it would do. And Elliot Tomasa, this is their flagship signature you guitar. Like two that speak to me the most. So the 440 sound guys are doing a documentary for LA Guitars. Masterminded by this guy right here. Got some rad recording gear here. I'm just gonna talk about what I love about LA Guitars and it's gonna be great. Tell my story about Elliot's. It's gonna be fun. Alright so I finished doing an interview with the guys from 440 sound. Amazing content to come very, very soon, and they're very, very happy because it went very, very smooth. Everything was just like one take, simple, no frills, fast. fast. Oh, yeah. So, the fellas have told me about this whole Carolina cheeseburger in the way thing. It's not in the way, it's not on the way. On the way. All the way. All, all the way. way. You got all me saying All the way, on the way. Cheeseburger, all the way. <laughs> That's on the way to your. If you don't eat it this way, you're doing it wrong. All right, there we go. Here but we go. Cheeseburger, all the way. That's it without oh, a bun. That's without a bun. Oh, that's delish. <laughs> that's, that's the negative. That's a mess. Oh, love it. <laughs> yeah, 
It's a so yeah, that was my time at Ellie Guitars. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video and I hope you were blessed and encouraged by it. And if you like what I do, feel free to like and subscribe to this video and to my channel. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing with my music, feel free to check out my website at www.jwmaxabagmusic.com. If you want to see my Line 6, Helix and HX Stomp presets that I make, feel free to check out multitracks.com and feel free to follow me on my social media pages. Till then, peace out, God bless, and have an incredible day.